Okay, in the next in this next video, we're going to then look at the second type of equation solving situation that we have when we have variables on both sides. And that is we can either come up with one exact solution we can have an infinite number of solutions or we can have no solutions. So let's take a look at these examples here. And these are things that we're always going to have to be aware of, when, especially when we're solving equations with variables on both sides. If it's an equation only with a variable on one side, then usually we will end up with one solution to the equation, usually. I'm sure we could find an example where there are no solutions. Um, but let's take a look at the first example. So we have 3 times 5x plus 2 is equal to 15x. So the first thing this is asking me to do then is to distribute. And I end up with 15x plus 6 is equal to 15x. All right, so that's an indication that something might be not so good here because a number plus 6 doesn't usually equal that number itself. Um, your 6 more than a number is equal to the number. Um, and that shouldn't normally make sense. But what we can do is we can subtract 15x on both sides, subtract 15x, and I end up with 6 is equal to 0 and 6 is never equal to 0, so we say this is never true. And What that means is that no matter what value I substitute for x, I can never make the left side of this equation equal the right side, and so there are no solutions. And since that's never true, we say that there are no solutions. Okay, in the second example, we start off with negative 2 times the quantity 4y plus 1 in parentheses, minus 8y minus 2 on the other side of the equal sign, and we distribute. Negative 2 times 4y is negative 8y. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 and we see when we write that out that we have exactly the same thing on both sides and whenever that happens we say that this is always true meaning that it doesn't matter what value of y we substitute we'll get a correct answer as long as we substitute the same value in both cases where y is and so we have infinite solutions all right, so those are the two special cases that we always need to look out for, especially when we're dealing with equations that have variables on both sides. All right, and I'll, if you need to stop to review this, to rewind it, to replay it, go ahead. Otherwise, I'm going to go on and take a look at a few more examples involving these special cases. Okay, so in number four, we have an equation. We'll start off by rewriting it. 4 times 1 minus p is equal to negative 4p plus 4. When I distribute on the left, I'm going to get 4 minus p, and on the right, negative 4p plus 4. Sorry, on the left side, I apologize, on the left side, I had to distribute the 4 to the 1, and I also had to distribute the 4 to the negative p, so that gave me 4 minus 4p. Now even though this one is 4 minus 4p and the other is minus 4p plus 4, or negative 4p plus 4, we really have the same thing. Addition is commutative, and as long as we move the signs that are in front of the numbers, we can we will still come up with the same uh, exact answer. So this is no different than saying negative 4p plus 4 and negative 4p plus 4 on the other side. Again, we have exactly the same thing on both sides. That's what tells us that no matter what value we put in for p, we're going to get the same number on both sides. And that is always true, infinite, solutions.
All right, let's take a look at the next example. In the next example, we have 10k, this is number 6. We have 10k plus 7 is equal to negative 3 minus 10k. All right, so in this case, I'm going to add, use my to the left principle here, and I add 10k onto both sides so that 10k is removed from the right side. That leaves me with a negative 3. 20k plus 7 is equal to negative 3. And at this point, subtract 7 on both sides. And I have 20k is equal to negative 10. Divide by 20. And k is equal to negative 1 half. Since we started out without fractions or decimals, that could be negative 0.5 as well. So here's an example of an equation with variables on both sides where we end up with one unique solution. One unique solution. It's not a case of infinite solutions, nor is it a case of no solutions. We have one unique, not solutions, but solution. And so there are some examples. Solving equations with variables on both sides and looking at some of the special cases that can occur. We will either have one unique solution, we'll have an infinite number of solutions. And we know that when we get exactly the same thing on both sides of the equal sign. Or we can have no solutions, and no solutions is when we have two numbers, 0 and 12, 4 and negative 3, two numbers that are not the same but are connected by an equal sign. And we know that can't ever be true, and so there are no solutions to that particular equation. Okay, we'll stop this video here and take a look at some of the word problems that will show up in this.